Hello, beautiful Aries. It's nice to be here again. We're looking forward to a new moon. Um, so we're going to look at what your new moon energy looks like. I'm making a big old mess. Okay. So we're going to look at what your new moon energy looks like. New moons are all about um, a fresh start, a new beginning, a clean slate, planting those seeds to get um, your momentum going and um, hopefully reap your harvest at the full moon. So uh, let's look at your new moon energy. If you're new here, my name is Melissa. I do tarot readings for the new moon and the full moon. And every Monday I post a video on a metaphysical topic. There's a full playlist of all those videos in the description box below. All right, we have a couple of uh, a couple of jumpers there. All right, Aries, new moon energy. All right. Let's look at these two jumpers. We have the Eight of Swords and the Page of Swords. Oh, this is actually kind of cute. I know swords swords are usually about like pain and adversity and that kind of stuff, but these are, these are how they came out. It's like she's blindfolded herself. She doesn't want to take a look at all the kind of crap, the swords represent crap, really, um, going on around her. And the, this little page is like, wake up, wake up. Let me cut your blindfold off. Like, to, they, they just interact so well together. It's like, I feel like there's there's some energy around this new moon that has you ready maybe to take the blindfold off um i feel like maybe there's somebody coming in to help you um unbind yourself um this usually represents uh youth or um kind of sometimes it's immaturity but the, just the way i feel it i feel like this is a helper this is somebody like he's literally coming up to her offering to cut her loose from her binding okay so i feel like that's where that's where we're at for the new moon for you aries i feel like there's something that you're just like not wanting to deal with or some things that you're not wanting to deal with. Um, but just like look at his face. He's just like, I here to help you. <laughs> Let me see. Will it focus? Oh, kind of maybe. You can kind of see that, right? He's just like eager. Like he has this willingness and this eagerness to him. Um, a very youthful, playful kind of energy um, I see with this page right now. So um yeah, I feel like that's what that's what the main energy is. It's 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 you needing to take off your blindfold. Let's start this cycle with clarity. I'm hearing um you're 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 blocking your own clarity. And you need to I feel like there's somebody that um that you can let help you. Uh somebody maybe that maybe they're not they may not be like bouncing up to you going, "Let me help you." Um but there's there's somebody around you that um that will be of help in some way. Could be somebody younger, um, somebody just with like a youthful exuberance. <laughs> I heard youthful exuberance. Um, there's somebody that's kind of like excited to be around you. Gosh, that's a lot of smoke. <laughs> it smells good though. Um, there's just somebody around you that's kind of playful and wants wants to be around you and I feel like being around them will be helpful to you. Um, it may not be a direct, I'm here to help you, or I want to help you, it may be more of an indirect, you know, you learn something by being around this person or you learn something from this person. I have always felt like I have, my kids ranged from six to 19 and I have always felt like we learn more from them than what we teach them. Um, just like some of the things your kid spits out of their mouth is just like, where did you come up with that? So I feel like whoever this person is, this kind of young, energetic kind of per person, um, just be around them. So, something they may say just may trigger something in you. So um, there's that. Let's see what else we got going on here. Let's see. Are there any actions for Aries to take? Any actions for Aries to take? Okay. That one wanted to come out. Okay, I'm taking all three of those. All right. Okay. Well, here we have another blindfold, but it was at the end of the sequence. So let me go in order that I saw them. I don't go by the order that they popped out. I go by the order that I see them in because how I see them is how I was meant to see them and interpret them. So take that how you will. Um, three of Pentacles. So working on something, there's another kid, right? 
another young person um, studying. This could be a teacher. This could be a father, or grandfather, somebody like helping them create a plan. I did ask what actions do we need to take? What actions does Aries need to take? This is drawing plans, okay? The, the, like, we have tools at our disposal, drawing plans, making a plan, being ready to be ready, okay? And then we have the Nine of Cups. That was what came out next. Um, putting this plan into action, I feel like, will make you happier. Being Proud of yourself is what I'm hearing, but that's not what I was seeing, but we'll go with it. Being proud of yourself, being um, happy with your accomplishments is going to take you so much further. So then we come to this, another blindfold, okay? We also have the moon, which kind of the moon card would symbolize um, something that's hidden, that's coming to the surface or um, cycles or, or something along those lines. Um, but hidden with the moon in the hidden aspect we also don't see her arms what are her arms doing under there you know um uh, it's just i feel like this is by choice so if she were to let's just say raise her arms up in the air the whole thing would fall off i feel like it's all up to you to undo the mask not the mask the i mean the blindfold but i heard the mask so whatever mask or blindfold that you have on i feel like you are about to see what you need to see in order to remove that um but i again another like helper i feel like there's a young person here and a helper okay so i got that from the first two cards that there's somebody that's going to help you remove the blindfold and then we have a helper we have happiness satisfaction and then the blindfold again so i feel like there's somebody out there that's meant to help you or perhaps you were meant to help them um this could be vice versa this could be you as the helper there's somebody this doesn't have have to represent you this could represent you you could be the person that is going to be there for somebody feel free to swap the roles um but I feel like there is there is definitely a helper, a teacher, somebody that um, this this is this is like a, a partnership going on here. There's it's definitely two people showing them your happiness, showing them your happiness, or them showing you their happiness. Whichever way it goes for you, um, that's kind of like an example that needs to be set here. Okay, so. Working out a plan, having somebody that's going to assist you. This could be divine assistance. This could be your higher guidance, your higher self, whatever you call it. And it really could just be a person in your life. I feel like that's most likely the scenario um, that is here to help you or you to help them. Um, but yeah, making a plan, showing how to be happy, seeing other people that are happy. Um, will kind of make you more comfortable. Okay. Okay, so have you ever walked into a room? This is a vigil I'm getting. Have you ever, like, you walk into a room, okay, empath, could be you. Um, you walk into a room and it feels just stuffy and you're just like, ooh, I don't know if I want to be here. Um, and then you kind of, like, you're, you're a little uncomfortable. You don't know anybody, whatever the case may be. Um, and you're just kind of like, you feel confined, you feel restricted, you feel like there's a blanket over your body keeping your hands down, right? You just feel like you want to go like this and not let anybody in. You're guarding your chakras, you're guarding your heart chakra specifically. And, you know, and, you know, somebody nice comes up and talks to you, right? Somebody shows you some kindness. A couple other people come up. You start to feel a little bit more comfortable. You, you start to maybe even physically let your guard down. You know, you're at a party and you're standing around with your arms crossed or, you know, like you just feel like you need to not be open at that moment and you start to kind of feel comfortable. That's what I'm getting. That's the visual I'm getting. I'm getting you in a room, uncomfortable, arms crossed. You just kind of want to, you know, you're just uncomfortable. And then there is somebody that comes over and starts talking to you. Um, and you start to feel a little bit more comfortable, a little bit more comfortable until you're feeling free enough to put your arms in the air, let that guard down, the guard referring to this 
you know, this draped over her. Um, and then once you get let that go, then I feel like the blindfold also will fall. So you'll start to be more observant. Your clarity will, will come. But I feel like it starts off a little constricted. I feel like this cycle for you is going to feel a little bit constricted. Um, unless you're the other person on the, on the, on the scenario um, that is meant to walk up to that person. So, you know, if you don't feel like that's you, if you don't feel like you're the type that is constricted or you're trying not to look at a scenario, you just don't want to deal with something right now, then maybe you should be looking for that person. If there's a gathering that you're going to soon and you happen to notice somebody that's kind of in the corner with their arms crossed that doesn't really want to talk to anybody or just seems like they feel uncomfortable, maybe you're the person that's meant to go and just say hi and introduce yourself or, you know, hey, you, you want to meet my friend or, you know, like, then that might be for you. So um, I really feel um, a pull either way on this one. So you could be either person in this scenario. So I'm going to pull some, I really don't feel like I need a lot of clarifiers, but I'm going to pull some more cards. Do we have any advice? I'm switching over to the uh, universal weight. Do we have any advice for Aries? Any advice for Aries? For the new moon. Any advice for Aries? We have the devil reversed. Okay. <clears throat> I feel like I'm hearing coming out of your shell, which feels like it doesn't apply to the devil card, um, but... If, if you think of the devil card in the aspect that it's um, being attached to drama, being attached to um, unhealthy eating habits, unhealthy substances, alcohol, addiction, people that are not good for you, toxic people, it's kind of being attached, you know, and not in a good way to that. So we have it reversed, so I feel like it's coming away from that, coming out of your shell, again, undoing this binding we have a lot of binding and and um, blindfolds, and I feel like you're coming out of that. We have this devil reversed, showing that it's it's time for you to be yourself and um, feel free. I'm I'm hearing freedom. Freedom is yours for the taking. So, uh, yeah, I feel like that's the advice that we have for you. It's not really even advice. It's just kind of, I guess, if you wanted to put it in, in verbiage that sounds like advice, it would be allow yourself to be free. Allow yourself to remove the blindfold. Allow yourself. You know, if you want to make that an affirmation, meditate on it, more power to you. I believe that that would help you significantly. Um, but allow yourself to feel free. Allow yourself to be comfortable in your own skin. So that is what I have for you today, Aries. Um, yeah, I, I'm trying to think if I can pull some more, squeeze some more juice out of it, but I feel like that's pretty good. So um, I will see you in the next video. Make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell so you get the next round of videos. And don't forget to check out the playlist in the description box below. I will see you in the next video. And as always, have a blessed day.